Hi everyone, this is PK So from Huttons and welcome to SingaporePropertyTV market update for the month of April 2022. Now in this video, let's take a look at some numbers from the developers' new private residential home sales and feel the pulse of the market moving forward. Now first off, uh, despite the fact that there are very few new launches, developers sold 653 new private residential units excluding executive condominiums in Singapore this April. Now, this is largely unchanged from the 654 units sold in the previous month. However, we expect sales momentum to pick up very soon, led by major new condo launches such as the 407-unit Piccadilly Grand and the 298-unit Leaf at MB. In fact, now as I'm shooting this video in May, Piccadilly Grand seems to be setting the tone for the market for the rest of the year, as it sold 77% of its 407 units at an average of about 2150 per square foot on launch day. About 90% of the first-time buyers there are Singaporeans, while the remaining are PRs and foreigners from countries such as China, India and Malaysia. With escalating construction costs, ladies and gentlemen, project launches at prices around $2,000 per square foot will likely become the norm, and overall prices of private home sales may possibly increase up by 3% this year. Well, some may argue that you know, compared to a year ago, April's new sales sank by 48.6% from 1,270 units that were transacted in April 2021. But please bear in mind that there had been four property launches back in April 2021, including projects such as Irwell Hill Residences and One North Eden. So the supply then was really much stronger. In fact, other than a few larger scale launches this year in 2022, most of the others belong to smaller plots and we shall continue to see inventory um, dwindle in the months to come. And, you know, I would like to also highlight that the monthly new sales in 2022 so far have hovered between 650 to 700 units amid the festive season and the absence of major new launches. Now, new home sales also seem to have stabilized, and this is about four months after the latest round of cooling measures that were implemented on December 16 last year. And we are expecting a further push in momentum, partly also because of buyers who are motivated to lock in mortgage rates ahead of further interest rates hikes. Um, there has also been somewhat a pent up demand after the cooling measures among those buyers who are adopting a wait and see stance and are finally deciding to take action. And of, so, and of course, also due to the continual demand from upgraders on the back of strong HDB resale flat prices. URA data show that uh, the RCR, the city fringe, clocked the highest new sales volume with 289 units moved this April, followed by the core central region CCR with 206 units and the OCR or the suburbs with 158 units. In fact, this marks the first time in 12 months that new sales in the CCR area exceeded those in the OCR. And the low level of unsold stock in the OCR meant that buyers have increased their budget and traded up to the next tier of private housing in the RCR or CCR. Now, that also increased the proportion of transactions priced at $2 million and above to 54.8%. Yes, 54.8%. And this is the highest level seen in at least a year, and this points to ample liquidity in the market. Now, it is also interesting to note that the cooling measures did not appear to have deterred buyers' appetite for luxury homes. Going by URA release COVID's data, transactions of at least $3 million rose to 115 units in April, up from 
89 units in March 2022. And if you look at the chart, sales of private homes costing 5 million or more increased to 35 units over the same period from 24 units previously. And I'm also glad to say that yours truly had added two units in that last category, helping my Singapore PR buyers clinch four bedroom luxury homes in Canning Hill Piers and Revere during the same period. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Thank you for taking time to digest the information. I really hope that it helps. Um, if you like analysis videos like this, do consider visiting singaporeproperty.tv and subscribe to my market updates. In fact, if you are a foreigner or Singapore PR or even a citizen, I would like to know what are your thoughts you know, about the market going forward. Now, in recent months, I have personally gotten in touch with several clients from Hong Kong, China, Indonesia, Malaysia and Korea, who had reached out to me after watching my videos online. You know, find out how I have managed to analyze a client's needs in purchasing a property in River Valley, you know, isolating the different segments by looking at the master plan, you know, ground news, uh, terrain of the ground and amenities nearby. and somehow we have discarded the areas that he should avoid based on historical price trends and we zoom in into projects that he could purchase with full confidence or in just one week. Now we started off as total strangers and I believe that you and I could also achieve the same. My name is PK So from Hutton's. Do check out the links associated with this video and I look very much forward to hearing from you in person.